The father of the Alexandria City High School student who was stabbed to death last week is sharing his frustrations tonight. The off-campus mob fight that led to his son's stabbing was captured on video, but police still haven't made any arrests. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey has more tonight on this grieving father's concern. In the Bahia family's apartment, they'd hoped it would be a time of celebration. 18-year-old Luis Mejia Hernandez planning to graduate soon from Alexandria City High School. Instead, there are flowers and photos marking his passing. His father telling Solange Sosa from our sister station, Telemundo 44, of his pain. It is something very painful. We are planning for his funeral, when instead, we should be planning for his graduation. Added to this father's grief, frustration that his son's killer has not yet been arrested. Even though cell phone video documents the brawl at Bradley Shopping Center that ended with the teenager being stabbed. It makes me feel very bad. I'm looking for justice for my son. Osman Mejia says he's also having trouble getting information from police about progress in their investigation. I call them and it takes until the next day or 24 hours before they return my call. Then they tell me there's nothing they can tell me about the investigation, which leaves me in limbo. An Alexandria police spokesman tells News 4 in order to get true justice for a victim's family, a case must be carefully investigated. And with 30 to 50 teens at the scene, this investigation is complicated, adding, quote, before we present a case to the prosecution, it has to be thorough or it will be rejected. The reason it's taken so long is because we want to do our due diligence. Mejia says his son was born in this country, but spent some time during his childhood in El Salvador, where his mother is currently living. The family says they believed Alexandria was a better place, a more promising place for Luis to grow up. Now their dreams for him and for his graduation ended with violence. Reporting for News 4, I'm Julie Carey. The victim's father says Alexandria City High officials have asked if he wants to accept his son's diploma at next month's graduation, but he says he doesn't know if he'll have the strength.